What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be making a list of sneakers that I will have in my rotation this fall season. These are one of my favorite videos to make because it allows me to showcase some sneakers that I don't really put on my channel but I wear in my day-to-day -day life. And it shows the different types of sneakers for the different types of seasons um, to kind of just keep things exciting for me and have my rotation nice and fresh and keep my shoes clean because I'm not always wearing the same pairs. I'm constantly rotating them. That way all my sneakers get warm and they all get a life to live. So let's get right into it. Now I tried my best to make this, this list or this rotation sneakers that I haven't worn in a long time because I often wear the V4 and, and the gray, the Lapis Azulis, as well as like all the other cool collabs that I have that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. This fall, I'm really trying to dive deep into some sneakers that I don't really touch that often that I really plan on wearing. So first up is one of the first New Balances that I had. Uh, this is one of the New Balances that actually got me into collecting New Balance, and that is the Teddy Santis Season 1 and this navy blue um, colorway. So. This sneaker right here is a 990 V3. Absolutely love the V3. I think the V3 is kind of under the radar now that you can't buy it on New Balance's website. I think there's a lot of amazing things about the 990 V3 uh, that I don't get talked about a lot. So I've been wearing the V4 a lot recently and I'm gonna try and switch that up and go with a 990 V3. Obviously I'll still wear the V4 just as much, but making an effort to really rock a, a V3. And I think this colorway specifically is, is one of my favorites that Teddy Santis has ever done. It's definitely like a darker tone shoe. I mean, you got the navy blue and this uh, like blue steel almost. You can wear it with a lot of things. Um, obviously I could wear it today with this navy blue quarter zip. It just looks great. It's more of a neutral shoe um, that can be a, like almost fancied up. I feel like this is a very premium sneaker uh, that will definitely get a lot of wear this upcoming fall season, just because it's just, it's Teddy Santa season one, it really doesn't get better than that. I think he really did a great job with season one. So obviously I have to have to keep rocking this sneaker and it's a V3, you can't go wrong with a V3. Next up on the list is a sneaker that I got two years ago and a silhouette that I only have one of and I don't wear that often and that's the 998 Broadacre City Frank Lloyd Wright Kith collab. This is one of my favorite collabs that I have um, Frank Lloyd Wright, who's an architect, uh, my dad was a big fan of, um, so I like it for that reason. It kind of means something to me. It is also a 998, which I do not have another pair of 998s. I can maybe say that I don't necessarily like the 998 as much as other made models, just because I feel like the comfort and the way my foot feels and it just doesn't compare it to say a V4 or a V3 or a V6 of a 990. Um, it's still a great sneaker, it's very good looking. I think this colorway specifically is great for fall. You have like these almost autumn colors that, that go with it. You know, browns, dark reds, dark greens, tans. I think this sneaker looks great and will look really well with a lot of fall outfits. Um, so I do plan on wearing this a lot. I think this is one of the more rare collabs I have because it's that three-way collab. Um, and I do think it would look a lot better if I did put some mileage on it and some wear and tear. I think this is one of those sneakers that looks better when you beat it in a little bit. So, Broadacre City 998. Hopefully after wearing this a little bit, it kind of changes my opinions on the 998 and I can grab some more pairs of them. But that's all I have to say about this collab for the fall. Next sneaker is a sneaker that I said I'd wear pretty much all season. This is kind of just like a daily driver if I don't want to match it. And that's the 990 V6 and this uh, cream, gray, and black colorway. I got these back in maybe February or March, I can't remember. So I've had these for a minute. They still still look great. Um, this is a sneaker that, like I said, it's just a daily driver. It's, it can be a fall, it can be a summer, it can be a winter. It can be an every season sneaker. That's kind of just why I threw it in here, just because if I don't want to necessarily like throw in a crazy like fall sneaker like I've been showing, I'll just uh, rock a pair like this. It never fails, it looks good with everything, and obviously the comfort is out of this world. I love the V6. I know a lot of people are starting to like the V6 more than other 990s, which is just starting to surprise me. I mean, I get it, um, but I just, I love the V6. So this is a great sneaker, Teddy Santis. Honestly, like the Teddy Santis sneaker I showed beforehand, and then this one are some of my top five Teddy Santis sneakers. I just truly love this sneaker. It's so plain, but it's also a great New Balance, but it does a great twist on it. 
adding in these black and using different materials. So I'm a big fan of this sneaker and definitely be rocking this during the fall seasons. And hopefully it's, it holds up. Rocking a V6, you gotta have a V6 in your rotation, no question. As I mentioned before, a V6, um, I'll be rocking these all fall as well. The 990 V6 Baklava Lapis Azuli Action Bronze and Collab. This is my second favorite sneaker of all time. I will never not own this pair of sneakers. Hopefully this sneaker lasts my entire life. I absolutely love this sneaker. Just from the laces, like they have like these Timberland laces, which the next pair I'll show has these similar laces. I just, I love these laces. I love the colors, the darks, the navies, the blues, the yellows. It's a perfect sneaker. I probably talk about this sneaker every day in my day-to-day -day lifestyle as well as on this channel. I love the sneaker. Action Bronze is about to release a few more pairs. I know that he has another 990 V6 coming out in 2025, as well as the Minimus and the Rebel V4. Most excited about the Minimus, in my opinion. I think that looks great. But this sneaker is just, it's a, it's a proven sneaker. Now, is it necessarily like fall colors? Not really, but you could definitely get away with it just because it is that navy and those darker tones that'll look good with, like I said, with what I'm wearing right now. So, great sneaker, 10 out of 10, absolutely perfect in every aspect. I love this sneaker and I just, I'm excited to wear it this fall with the leaves changing. It's, it's a great sneaker to have in my collection and always have in my rotation. Now this last sneaker is probably the most ideal fall sneaker of all time in my opinion. I've wanted this sneaker for a very long time and that is the 990v4 LL Bean collab. Now, I didn't even know the sneaker existed until a couple months ago when I was watching um, No Title Productions YouTube channel, which he has the greatest collection of New Bounces of all time. I watch his sneakers all the time, just, just to educate myself on these New Bounces I didn't even know existed, like this pair right here. So, this is an LL Bean collab, which LL Bean is an outwear brand where they basically, their mission statement is just making it easier for fa friends and family to go outside and enjoy nature. And what better way to, to do that with a collab with New Balance and do this 990v4. Now, this sneaker right here actually has no LL Bean branding on it that I can see. Um, it does have an insole that's pretty unique. So it has the same laces as the Lapis Azulis. They're a little bit thicker. Those Timberland round laces, which I love round laces and I wish New Balance did more of them in the 990 models. So hopefully we can see that soon. But these were used off eBay. I bought them for $200. I really wanted these sneakers. Now I've been waiting to try and find a pair in my size ever since I knew they existed. And they're pretty rare. They're pretty hard to come by, especially in good condition. I think these are in pretty fair condition. Um, I could probably get a couple years out of these. If I keep them nice, um, I'm gonna wear these a lot. Now, I did find a pair of these at a thrift store for 30 bucks in a size eight and almost bought them, but I knew if I bought them, it would make me sick to my stomach knowing that I couldn't wear them because I wear a size 10. So I passed on those and then a couple months later, picked them up off of eBay and couldn't be happier about them. But I truly think this is like the perfect fall sneaker because not only the colors, but also because it's LL Bean and it's meant to be outside, meant to be worn. These are gonna take a fair amount of beating, not even just in the fall, but the winter and probably the spring and summer. I'll wear these all the time. I absolutely love brown sneakers and I don't think brown sneakers get showcased enough. So this is a sneaker that'll get tons and tons of wear this fall and going into the winter. It's a 990, it's a New Balance. It's gonna be durable and it can take that uh, wear and tear. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of my list and what sneakers you will be rocking this fall. Uh, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.